tour has been um, very well, very well. You know, we um, we we appreciate being out on the you know out on the road, and we appreciate all the people that have been coming to the shows, and and uh, the response has has been great. Um, playing some of the new Vistachino songs along with you know some of the old Kaya songs is is uh, awesome, and uh, feels real good. Uh, Vistachino is the name of a street in um, in the Coachella Valley, and it goes from uh, Cathedral City all the way up to to Palm Springs. Um, you know, Vista is view. You know, obviously, and Chino is several different definitions of Chino. Um, you know, there's actually a, a city of Chino in 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 um, Southern California, but it could mean, you know, curly-haired kind of tribe leader to to a marijuana reference, um, but uh, we didn't pick it for any of those. We 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 picked it um, because it were um, we like to um, we're, we're in love with with our home, which is the desert, and um, we wanted something that that had that relationship and when Brent Bjork uh, first you know said that name to me it immediately resonated with me and it made perfect sense it's where we're from it's our home and uh, it's it, it, we have a lot of relationships with um, with uh, the desert so it, it, it made sense I would say so yeah, I would. Uh, in, in you know, like I like I said, um, I think that there are songs on this record, um, like Dargona Dragona, that remind me of, of something that Caius would have played. Um, I think a, a, another song like um, you know Acid Eyes going into the Gambling Moose reminds me of a, a lot of feeling and emotion that 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 um, that Caius had. Um, but there's also some exploration in there. Um, I think uh, Barcelonian is a, is a direct um, result of being uh, being doing uh, you know being exploratory. Um, so uh, it, it 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 feels right. I mean, there's going to be some similarities there right off the bat. One, I was the singer for Caius, and Brent was one half of the writing force behind Caius, and and he was on every single record with the exception of the last one, on the Circus Leaves Town. So there's going to be some similarities, and it, it it feels right. It feels good. You know, I wasn't in the studio while any of the music was tracked. I wasn't there. I had roughs of it, and I was working in it back at my house. And um, uh, but there was also an incredible amount of, of trust that that um, that Brent had placed in me, and I had placed in Brent. We hadn't been in the studio in, in over you know 15 years together, so to to get back into it again, and to you know have him send me you know lyrics and vocal melodies and scats if you will um you know i had to i i had to again um you know fall in love with with the 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 blank palette and then make his lyric and melody my own um there were some there were some collaborations in there obviously um awesome being in his kitchen and, and writing adara together and and you know Brent would Brent would sometimes um, have something lyrics and melody for a for for a song and sometimes he wouldn't and we'd go back and forth and and you know so that part was really fun for me that was the highlight for me it was it was um, was being able to collaborate I was really looking forward to that um, so it, it felt great and I think that the key word here was was trust um, you know. I, I trusted those guys to do what they needed to do, and 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 they trusted me. And Brent and Bruno and, and Nick weren't even in the studio when I, when I was singing. It was just me and Harper. Um, Brent was in there for the first one, Dargona Dragona, 
Um, and then he just kind of left me alone and went into his, the other part of the house and and uh, let me do what I let me do what I do. Yeah, I don't like a lot of people in there. There was times when I was in Caius where there would be, you know, quite a few people in the control room and, you know, um, uh, uh, but I I prefer it now. I don't like anybody to, to be in the studio. When I'm in Thunder Underground or Brent's Place, um, I don't like a lot of people in there. It makes me nervous and it's it's it's, it's personal. You're, you're creating and it's, it's um, something that... Uh, and I don't even like it when the red light turns on and they say recording. You know, I, I it takes me a little while, but it, it's, it's part of uh, it's part of recording. It's part of creating, and, and everybody has their own their own little quirks and you know how they do things. And me personally, I just don't like a lot of heads in the room. Uh, I have the songs that are that are really fun to sing. Um, that I enjoy singing, um, Dargona, Dragona, I really love singing Adara, um, Sweet Remain is, is my favorite though, um, it's, it's a hard song to sing, and I, I love that challenge, and when I do, you know, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not per a perfect singer and there's going to be some major and minor imperfections in what I do and how I do it but that's the beauty of of seeing a band live for me that's what I like to see I like to go and see Ian Asbury you know you know you know go you know uh, go off on Little Devil or, or She Sells Sanctuary or whatever and that's, that's it's, it's, it's fun for me to 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 see that and I I, I don't try to, you know, I don't, uh, you know, I, I, it's, it's just fun to, to explore and, and to, to sing, you know, Super Scoop in the Mighty Scoop the way it's supposed to be sung and to go off on, you know, different things on, on Whitewater and, and trying new things. So it's, it's fun for me. It's a, it's a constant, it's a constant challenge and, uh, you know. But "Sweet Remain" has got to be my number one song to sing right now, as far as as far as intensity and and how and uh, how difficult it is to sing that song. I, I, that's a highlight for me. <laughs> so far, I think it's been pretty good. You know, I don't, I uh, I I just appreciate that there's you know the, if there's more than five people there, man, I'm 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 loving it. You know, so I I um, the, the response has been really really good it's been it's it's very well received and and it's appreciated the artists that that did it um, they're very um, they're they are desert locals where we are from so that type of artwork that you see on the record piece we, we saw it every day it's you know that that style is 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 very much where we're from, growing up in you know Indio and La Quinta, where I was from. It was very much uh, I saw a lot of that, and the, it's a, it's a certain style. And again, we wanted something that resonated with us. Um, uh, w you know, when we met with them, we didn't have any specific ideas. We just knew their style, and we told them what we liked, and they they went with it. And um, once they once they showed it to us, you know, I was I was blown away. Um, so it's it's again, it's very much where we're from. It's a little piece of home, and we're big on that. We've always I've always been big on that. I, I I'm I'm very I'm very proud and protective of what I call my desert and you know I don't like you know I don't like you know I'm just I'm just you know I want people to stay out you know and I don't want but then you know I'm <laughs> then again I don't I don't want to seem super selfish but it's just a it's just a protective thing and I you know I I you know I 
yeah, it's it's just something I'm very very proud of. So I mean, I've I was I've been there since 1970, you know, and I've lived anywhere from Indio to Morongo Valley and every single city in between, with the exception of Palm Desert. Never lived in Palm Desert, um, and uh, so um, yeah, it's just a part of part of who I am. I once moved out of the desert for for a brief moment for 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 another career that I was pursuing and. And I knew immediately I had made a major mistake, and uh, but eventually I made it back there. You know, I I think I I, I think that um, if there's a if there's a need and, and a void, you're going to be able to fill it anywhere. I don't care if you're in you know if you're in you know Melbourne or Sydney or Brisbane or the south of London, if you have a need and you've got a void and it needs to be filled, you're going to find a way to do it somehow, some way. So I, you know, the other guys may may have a different view and outlook on it, but um, for me as the singer, um, I was, you know, I'm going to be doing it anyway. So no to answer your question for me. awesome <laughs> really 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 awesome he he's uh, uh, just a, a great um, a great bass player M super sweet guy extremely intelligent and uh, to share the stage with Mike Dean from from COC is is an honor I remember when you know Brent used to draw pictures of Mike Dean on his peachy in high school you know what I mean, and and, and uh, so to to look over and and to see Mike Dean, and look over and see Bruno Fever, and look over and look behind me and see Brent Bjork. I'm in heaven, man. You know, and I'm what a band, what a what a band with Mike Dean in there. Holy shit! I mean, it it is it's intense. And you know, when you when you have um, when you have somebody playing heavy music and it's melodic and it's it's pretty, it it, it marries well. And he he's he's He's, he's right there. So we're lucky to have him. I'm very lucky to have played with all the musicians I've, I've played with. Very lucky. They've been extremely talented group of individuals and and uh, you know they're, they're, they're music heads. They're, they, they live and breathe by, by music and um, uh, you know, I I don't look at it as my as my favorite. I look at it as a, as a kind of a, a life's work. Um, and you know, I'm 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 super proud of of, of all my of all my bands, um, from from Caius to Slowburn to Romano to to Unita to Pistachino, and I you know. I played in a lot of bands before, you know, uh, but um, it's it's still fun for me, you know. I, I still I still dig it. Vistachino was a is and was a, a man. I, I didn't expect it to 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 be to be this, but it's turned into this. It's turned into something really really cool that I enjoy. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on doing it, you know. up the albums on, on which you, you sang or played that uh, you think more people should listen to? Yeah, Pistachino. <laughs> Peace. You know, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm proud of this record. I'm proud to, to, to have gotten um, lyrics and vocal melodies from, from Brent Bjork. Um, you know, Bruno Fieri writing Sweet Remain and getting those lyrics from, from Brent and that scat and that melody and, and me you know, turning it into something, you know, my own. I'm, I'm, the, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that accomplishment. And um, I'm proud that I can, you know, be here uh, talking to a complete stranger about something that I just recently created or helped create. So the appreciation level is, is massive. And, um, you know, my family allows me to, 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 to be here and to, to be talking to you. and. And uh, and, and uh, you know, I, I get back and on Sunday, the day before my, my son's 
you know, fourth, uh, fourth birthday. So I'm, uh, I'm just appreciative that they allow me to do this. And um, I'm appreciative that I can, again, be sure on stage with, with, with Brian Bruno and Mike. It's hard. It, there's, there's no doubt about it. It's rough, and it, it takes a certain woman to, to allow her husband to go out and be in this type of environment that I'm in on a, on a nightly basis, and, and they really are the, the unsung heroes here. Um, but we're all family men, and everybody gets it. Everybody, there's a, there's a certain understanding. I have two wonderful kids. Brent has two kids. Bruno has two wonderful daughters, and, and Mike Dean has his, has his animals, and we, you know we're we're all animal people here too. So it, to be able to to be able to to, to do it, and to have the moons kind of line up, um, uh, it takes a lot of hard work. All the pieces of the puzzle have got to be in place from management to business management to agents to, to families knowing to itineraries to, you know, to, to everything has got to line up. Um, but a lot of hard work and, uh, uh, you know, and there's certain rules and regulations and, and kind of standards that we set, set out um, to be able to do this. The length of tours is massive, is huge. Um, and it all has to make sense. And... So far, it's been making perfect sense, and, and we're here, and we're we're here, and we're, we're mo as Brent would say, we're we're moving and grooving and, and rocking and rolling, and, and we intend to, you know, we 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 don't intend to go away anytime in the near future. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you know. In, in, in any business, you know, there's there's going to be some sharks, you know, and um, you know you, you've you've got to you, you, in any business you got to you got to watch out for, for for number one, you know, and um, I was in New Haven, Connecticut, doing a show under Caius Lives, and there was this guy loading in, he was a roadie, and it said, "Welcome to the music business, you're fucked." And I wanted to buy that shirt off him, you know. But I, you know, I'm 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 lucky to 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 have two passions: one, you know, being able to perform and sing and and and, and create, and two, uh, being able to to work with animals. My wife is still very much involved in in in, in, uh, in, in veterinary medicine. And she always tells me, you know, and you've got a place right next to me if you ever want to come back. And um, so you never know. I just I, I may, I, you know, I, I, I still love that. It's still a interesting, very, very interesting to me to be able to do that stuff, to 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 have a, a an owner of a practice call you at 1:30 in the morning and, and depend on you to say, Hey, John, I've got a 130-pound Irish Wolfhound. She's in labor, in breach, and there's 12, 12, there's 12 pups. We need to get it. You know, we need to get them out. And to go there and just with him and I do that and have every single one of them survive and get home at 4.30 in the morning, that's an amazing feeling too. That's an awesome feeling um, to be able to, to help, uh, you know, in that, in that type of environment, to, to do that. Um, it's an amazing feeling. And uh, still might... Uh, I still might uh, be, I still, I still might, you know, be into that. We'll see.